Who are the newest additions to the Prospect Report? Find out next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FPT in 5 on Saturday, July 6th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White. And just a heads up that Scott wrote his prospect report earlier in the week. So Shane Boz and Brooks Lee are on this list, but yes, they have been called up. The five on the verge, Shane Boz, Brooks Lee, but also Kobe Mayo of the Orioles, Max Meyer of the Marlins, and Jacob Wilson of the Oakland A's, who is the newest addition. Yes, but let's start with Kobe Mayo. Because he is who I think, he's the one who I think is the closest and would be the most impactful if he got called up. Of course, he's been a terror at AAA all season, but since returning from a fractured rib, he's really cut down on the strikeouts. In fact, uh, uh, through his, his first few games there, he actually had more walks than strikeouts. And GM Mike um, Elias recently said, like, there's the quote, He's at the level of talent and experience where you start figuring out ways to work him in because I do think he's ready, very close to ready for a major league challenge. The Orioles have had an opening in their infield all year. Of course, they wanted Jackson Holiday to fill it. It didn't work out. And now Jackson Holiday's DHing because of an elbow issue. So he's not even in the conversation anymore. Kobe Mayo is uh, to step in at third base rather than second. Jordan Westbrook's signing, sliding over. And I think he's going to be called up real soon and guy who hits the ball exceptionally hard. I think he could be impactful in that lineup. I also think Max Meyer is gearing up to return. Remember, he had three great starts for the big club early in the year, got sent down, said they were going to space out his starts, reduce his innings, call him up later in the year. It hasn't gone well for him at AAA. The numbers are bad, but... That's in large part because the Marlins had him experimenting with other pitchers, not leaning so much on the slider, which he threw about, I think, 49% of the time in those three major league starts. It's a great pitch and obviously was successful for him. In his latest start at AAA, it was his longest and most effective start since getting sent down there, and he threw his slider 48% of the time. I think we saw Max Meyer transitioning from development mode back to competitive mode. and his return is going to be in short order. Obviously the Marlins could use him because their whole rotation has been devastated by injury to get to the guy you wanted to talk about here. Jacob Wilson, son of Jack Wilson, former pirate shortstop. He was the sixth overall pick in last year's draft. And I pretty, well, I was inclined to write him off. Not much power there, not much speed there. Seemed like kind of a silly choice for the A's that high in the draft, but all he's done here in his first full professional season is, hit 464, more than 100 points higher than any minor leaguer outside of rookie ball. And it's that's it, he's hit over 400, whether it's been double A, triple A. Uh, he missed a month with knee tendonitis and has come back hitting over 500 uh, since that injury. So it's not like he just was super hot and then the injury slowed his momentum and he kind of normalized after that. He's, he's maintained this batting average that, would seem impossible by the mathematics of baseball. Uh, And I think it is impossible by the mathematics of baseball, but it does tell us Jacob Wilson has an exceptional hit tool. And the power is actually not as bad as I imagined. His ISO, uh, so slugging percentage minus batting average, a reflection of how much of the bat, how much, how much, how much of the slugging percentage comes from extra base hits rather than just singles? It's 242. It's pretty good, at least as, as of this recording. Um, mostly doubles, but he has more homers than I expected. I, I think he's going to be up soon for the athletics because he's old enough to, and, and obviously they have a needed shortstop, and he's forcing the issue. It's an atypical profile that you don't see a lot of in the modern game, but I I think there's a chance Jacob Wilson is going to make it work and be a fantasy asset even without being a consistent 20-homer guy. All right, the five prospects on the periphery. Curtis Mead of the Rays, Matt Shaw of the Cubs, Bubba Chandler of the Pirates, Matthew Lugo of the Red Sox, and Emiliano Toyota of the Rangers, who I actually got to see out in the Arizona Fall League, but as a reliever, They've transitioned him back to being a starter, and he's been fantastic. Yeah, he has. Uh, And and what seemed like the the turning point for uh, 
for Emilio Teodo is introducing a sinker last year to give that that offers a better mo- movement profile than the four seamer. He always threw the ball very hard, triple digit velocity, pretty easily. But since introducing that two seamer, he's been a lot more effective. ERA below two at triple A or at double A, I should say. Uh, K per nine, almost 12. Still too many walks for Emiliano Teodo, but to be performing this well this far up the minor league ladder, I think suggests there's a legit prospect here on the Rangers' hands, and you can count him among the biggest risers uh, as far as pitching prospects go this year. You can also count Bubba Chandler in that group, Pirates pitcher, who, who seemed to come on Late last season, final nine starts, 166 ERA, 0.82 whip, 9.4 K per nine. But he struggled early this season specifically with throwing strikes. That's completely changed over his last few starts, his last uh, six appearances now. He has a combined three walks. And two of those six appearances, double-digit strikeouts, first Two double-digit strikeout games uh, Bubba Chandler has had in the minors. A lot of upside here. Three pitches that rate is plus. And after already introducing Paul Skeens and Jared Jones to their rotation this year, I think the Pirates have another good one on the way in Bubba Chandler. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again next week. Bye-bye! 